actually, you know, we have tripled our spending on Hawaii's public schools in the last three decades. And fortunately, we are still number 47 in all of the states for our public education system ranking. And furthermore, we're uh, 13th in per student spending of any state. So it clearly shows that this is not a funding problem. It's not a matter of just throwing more money at the education system. And so I second the motion of Senator Sam, even though I don't think House members can second Senator's motions. But tonight we can, okay. <laughs> but in, in any case, all of the above, um, we really do need to forward legislation, and I will be pr both proposing and supporting legislation to require that independent and comprehensive financial and management audit and furthermore, to require review for implementation. We've had many audits that just sit and gather dust on the shelves afterwards. Implementation is the key. Also, um, legislation requiring that at least 90% of all of our taxpayer dollars and funds go directly to local classroom instruction for the students and the teacher's use and the families in the locality that know best how to deploy those things. In order to reform our education system and, and to fix the economy, the bottom line is the legislature's role, we need to have government reform as well. And I believe the legislature needs to begin to operate under Sunshine Law, which it requires neighborhood boards and others to operate under, but exempted itself from. So if we operate under Sunshine, no more backroom deals. Simply, the Department of Education is a financial black hole. We need an appointed school board so that we can stop finger pointing between the unions, between the BOE, between the DOE, between the executive branch. Let the executive branch make the decisions and hold the executive responsible. Also, charter schools, which is the best part of public schools. The DOE dislikes charter schools. They're jealous of the charter schools. That's why they give them less funding and they give them a hard time. We should be championing cha uh, charter schools taking away any kind of caps or limitations. Homeschooling. Let's allow homeschoolers to participate in the services for which their parents pay taxes already. Let's look for innovation. Let's look for vouchers so that parents are once again in charge. We have fewer teachers in the classroom today and fewer students in the classroom today than we did 20 years ago, yet the amount of money that's gone up and we spent is more than 10 times what we did 10 years ago. I'm a product, a proud product of the public schools, including a graduate of the University of Hawaii at Manoa. I, advocate for and want to see it better and improve. We always talk down in the legislature about, we do it for our keiki. We raise our salaries for our keiki. We take trips for our keiki. We do everything for our keiki. That's child abuse. If we really believed it, we would help our keiki. Let's start now and let's clean house. And I support an audit of the Department of Education and the management portion of it. The number of jobs in the DOE has not been reviewed, what those people are doing in those jobs, and there are, our primary concern, number one, is why is, our, is this two point, one is it, Sam, billion dollars, 2.7 per year, where is it going, and why are the test scores so low, why are the buildings in such horrible shape? This has got to be stopped. We do the same thing over and over again every year. Now. Um, as far as the legislature's responsibility, this is what I'm going to absolutely advocate for and support, is this audit and finding out where is this money going. We are all paying for this, and what are we getting? We're paying for steak and we're getting a bologna sandwich. It's not fair to the kids. I know that's a cliche. We're tired of hearing it's not fair for the kids, but it's really time to act and do something about this. Mahalo, everyone, for participating tonight. If entrusted with the honor and responsibility of being your representative in our Hawaii House, I commit to work with the Aloha Spirit, with you, and with all parties of goodwill ready to create fresh, workable solutions to our challenges and to never lose sight of putting families first. Uh, we need to convene partnerships to forge fresh, energetic solutions for Hawaii. And nothing is more important than strengthening and protecting our families, our communities, and our natural environment that we share. We must ensure balance, integrity, and accountability in state government to unshackle a desperately needed better economic climate. And we must reduce the financial and tax burden on our working families and small businesses to unleash economic growth. I've worked with you on my neighborhood board terms to, on local concerns and priorities, the safe streets, schools with world-class curriculum, and guarding against overdevelopment and the restoration of our bay. I look forward to working together with you um, with partnerships across our communities to engage, engage all of us 
to create these fresh and energetic solutions so everyone in Hawaii can have a brighter future. Mahalo. The thing that I'd like to really stress to all of you tonight is how important it is for us to have a two-party system. Currently, there are, out of the 25 seats, Senate seats, there are only two Republicans. And with Senator Hemings leaving, I think it's incredibly important that we maintain our two-party system and maintain a voice of balance. We need to have another view come to the table. And folks, take a look, where are we today? Our taxes are too high, our businesses are struggling. These are two areas that I am the most absolutely adamant about and focused on. Now I really wanna get this in. Forgive me for tooting my horn, it's not like me, but I have to say this. Um, both Representative Cynthia Thielen and Fred Hemmings have endorsed me. Governor Linda Lingle asked me to run for this seat. Um, if you want a small business, limited government candidate, that's who I'll be. Thank you very much. Do me a favor. When you talk to candidates, when they come to your door, when you go to a forum like this, don't ask them what graduated, where they graduated from high school or who their wife is or their girlfriend what position they played on the football team. Ask them about taxes. Ask them about education. Ask them about term limits. Ask them about initiative referendum and recall. Ask them about those things that are important to you and to your family. We talked a lot about the economy. We need jobs in this community because people are hurting. The recession is not over, particularly for small businesses, which, which represent 95% of all the businesses in this community. And if you want businesses to diversify, if you want to have additional job opportunities, then you improve the business climate by cutting the taxes, cutting the red tape, cutting the mandates, because business will come wherever it is welcome. Nobody sat around in a committee and said, let's create Silicon Valley. They had the educational resources, they had the quality of life, they had all of the things in the tax benefit there that brought people there. We can do that in Hawaii because our best days are ahead. Aloha.